thank you for tuning in back into my channel so today i'm just going to be going over kaden's um school year um items that i did go over i'm um, gonna look over all of his curriculum books that i did i speak about in the last uh curriculum video um so right now um what i'm doing is currently just kind of like mapping out everything that i do have um i did um go from september through uh june september through june uh, this is for his 2021 2022 school year um i did go all the way from september to june because he starts uh back at September 7th of 2022, which is on a Tuesday. This is just the day after Memorial Day of this year. Um, what I did, just go ahead and do is just kind of like map out these sheets and just go in and I put a JavaScript and Python, which is the two coding programs that he's going to be using for the school year. Um, he's also going to be doing Spanish biology because um, he's really, really um, into science and stuff this year. Um, so I did just kind of variations from biology to botany and um, chemistry as well. So I kind of wanted to do biology first. Um, so for right now, that's what I have is biology. I don't know if I'm ever going to go into the, um, how I'm going to go into the chemistry portion. So it'll kind of be like biology, chemistry, and um, botany all at the same time, um, only because there are certain things that biology is going to tie in with botany and then sometimes biology is also going to counteract with chemistry as well um i have his art blank for right now um kind of still in the midst of starting everything this is his american history i don't know where to start from that and then i also have his creative writing um he did say that he wanted to start writing books and everything goes he also has a typewriter that we recently just found at our um former home and then we also have scripture and devotions um and then i have a discussion where i kind of want to have him do when he um writes or i should say reads and then we'll go into a discussion um on certain days now here is where i have put together his new schedule um where he'll have uh, his scripture and uh, devotions and creative writing in the mornings um he only gets about 30 minutes this is um just because when class starts around 8 30 um this is what he does um honestly so this is not really like this time skimp doesn't kind of matter. I just kind of took, excuse me, what I had from the last school year and kind of put it all together here. Um, so the time stamp doesn't really matter, but I did want him to start off with his scripture and devotions and creative writing in the morning. So that kind of gets him like a, a running start. Um, when I first made this for like the coding line I have right here, when I first made this, I was thinking that I wanted to do one day JavaScript, the next day Python, skip a day, everything. But Fridays is always going to be a free day. What I'm all now thinking is that one week I'll do JavaScript and then the next week I'll do Python. Um, so we'll kind of like switch back and forth. But for this first um, week of school, I kind of give him a background on JavaScript and give him a background on Python and just switch back and forth with the days. Um, nine, well, this line right here is just any book work that he has with K-12 and everything. Um, he's also going to do the Spanish textbook and worksheets. I only have him doing Spanish three days out of the week. So it's going to be like Monday, Wednesday, and Thursday. And then Tuesday and Fridays are the days that he's going to be doing an hour of reading and then discussion as well. He has lunch around, usually around 12, 1230. So that is always a set time for him. Um, biology, um, I had him going through uh, Monday through Thursday because um, he is really, really into experiments and everything. So that's where I put that there. Um, and then also I kind of had a, uh, wanted to differentiate between um, his art because he wants to kind of explore all walks of art lately. The only thing he's been doing is sketching 
and it's really getting irritating because he knows how to just use a lot of paper. Um, so I kind of wanted to do uh, oil painting, water paints, abstract art, and pastel art on Fridays. I didn't do it on Thursdays because that's usually where we have like big experiments on Thursday. Um, he also has American history um, just one day out of the week. I don't know how they're going to like vary it, everything. Um, and then he also has a uh, music piano um, and cooking. I didn't put them on this sheet because it's not something that he would actually need like lessons behind. Um, so I didn't do that. Um, and if really, if I wanted to go in and put like a lesson behind it, I can always just go back in and just write over it. Um, after school tutoring for him, that's going to be on Monday, Wednesdays, and Fridays. Um, so this also might change. So I don't really, you know, um, usually when I do his schedules like this, I kind of just put, um, subject to change in one color and then mandatory and stays the same at the bottom in a different color. Um, so that's usually how that works with that. I also have all his logins and things on a specific sheet that I physically made out. Um, and then I also put all of his um, stuff that he'll be doing for biology um, right here. Um, this is not a set in stone because I only did it to January and that was it. Um, these are all the worksheets that I took out of those books that I previously got him. Um, so this is uh, August through September. They're kind of thick, um, sort of, not really. Um, and then you have September. October. These are really just things that I think that he should be covering during those months and how he should be progressing along. Um, because I'm trying to kind of put it where um where basically he needs it for um creative writing as long as you know as well as language arts as well. So this is November. Um I have him trying to do uh paragraphs and main topics trying to figure out the details and how many supporting details that he needs in one thing. Um, so this is November. This one is a lot thicker only because he has um, extra sheets in the back that I got from a different workbook that I found online. Um, so the main site that I use now is, is called um, a Book. So it's b dash ok.org or .cc or something like that. I'm not sh for sure. Um, I can actually just look it up right now. I think it's books. Oh, it is books for you .org. It's really Z Library. I get mainly all of these books on here for free. And if you donate, you get unlimited amounts. It doesn't matter how much you donate. But the normal download amount is 10. Um, and then um, you go from there. So they have a lot of books on here. A lot of these books, um, you don't need anything. I recently just got this book. Recently just got this book. I got it from Amazon. It was only about $8. Um, so... I got him this just because I, when I'm working from home, um, he can kind of look through this himself and we can just go off to there from that. I really, really love these little books. Um, and recently they just came out with some more. So I'm pretty sure I'm going to be getting those as well. Um, so I still have all of these. Um, so this is, this goes all the way out. I know for like these worksheets right here, um, I didn't find anything else in the book that I would actually be using for, um, April, May, and June. Um, so I kind of just left those alone. And then really for these worksheets, I stopped doing them, um, when I got to May. So he has none for June. Um, this graphing paper is really just for him when he does his coding, if he wants to just do it on paper. Um, and that's really about it for right now. This is really more of like an update to everything that I'm currently doing for his school year. 
Um, I will be making another book video once I do complete out his full plan of everything. I am slowly but surely getting everything done because I kind of wanted to get everything done before August even hits. We are currently on June, so I'm making some good progress actually. Um, so yeah, I think, I think that's about it.